Hey, Vikings fans. This is team reporter Eric Smith here with one of the best defensive players in Vikings franchise history, defensive tackle Kevin Williams. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us. How's it going today? Hey, going well. Trying to do this homeschooling a first part of the day. Make sure your kids get it done. But other than that, everything's good. That's good to hear. Good to hear. It's definitely an odd time for all of us. We definitely appreciate you coming on. Uh, you know, the NFL draft is on the horizon a couple of weeks away. So we thought we kind of talk to some, some of our favorite people and get some draft day memories. Uh, mm-hmm. I guess for you, you know, if we, if we go back to two, 2003, well, I guess what were just some of your emotions kind of leading up to the draft, the, the days and weeks? Um, it was a situation where, uh, I don't know, my agent, Tom Cunn, and they were kind of telling me, late first round, uh, second round type of deal. And I put in my work, uh, had a good combine workout, uh, interview well. And uh, I think I, everything had went kind of well for me leading up to the draft. So it was kind of just uh, one of those things where we were waiting to see. Um, I was kind of looking for after 10 or 12 to probably be picked. So, you know, we just had a bunch of family over cooking out, uh, having a good time waiting for my name to be called. And you were down in Arkansas, right? You chose not to go to New York. Well, the thing back then, I mean, I say back then, but that was a while ago. You know, uh, they only took like a select few. Now everybody gets to go to New York. I mean, back then you only took maybe 20 or maybe 30 players, period. I think now, now they take it in a way probably two or three times that many people in New York. So. Anyway, long story short, I wasn't one of the guys that got to go. So I was at home watching. <laughs> yeah. Well, you turned out to be a top 10 pick. You drafted at number nine. What people might not remember is that the Vikings actually had the seventh overall pick that year. But kind of in an odd twist, you know, the Vikings did not make their pick on time. And Jacksonville and Carolina swooped in, each made picks, and you were picked at number nine. Do, do you remember that at all? And how, how'd that kind of affect you? It was kind of disbelief. I mean, I, I'm always an even kill guy, and if anybody and and Tom Westbrook can tell you, I'm pretty low key, and and I I don't get real excited about a lot. I mean, I am excited, but the emotions just don't flow like some some guys would. Uh, I think I was still a little bit shocked, and and I think it never really really kicked in until after I came up there and did the interview and got back home, and it was like got with my friends and then it kind of, you know, kind of, cause really I didn't get a chance to celebrate. I mean, they called me, can you get to the airport and be here? I mean, hindsight, I wish I had waited and, and stayed with my family that night because I mean, I got to Minnesota, it was probably 11 o'clock at night. What, what was I going to do that night? So I had to end up, I could have just flew out the next morning and, and, uh, you know, got there and did, did, did the introduction and all that stuff the next day. But I mean, who, who I didn't know what to do. You know, you're young, you're, you're getting drafted. So, hey, they say go. Let's see how fast we can get there. But, yeah, if I could do it over again, I probably would would stay and just got to enjoy that with my family and and, and uh, really got to enjoy the experience because uh, after you get picked, you kind of hit the ground running, mini camp and, and trying, to, trying to solidify yourself. Um, you know, if you look back at the entirety of, of your career, You know, how much did the Vikings mean to you, you know, making you a first round pick and playing 11 years? I mean, how much love do you have for the organization? (laughs) Man, everyone asked me, uh, who's your team? I mean, uh, I mean, Minnesota all the way. I mean, again, I had short stops in New Orleans and and Seattle, but Minnesota raised me. I mean, I'm 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 so grateful to the to the Wilfs and to, to Red McCombs. Red McCombs drafted me, Mike Tice, and those guys for giving me a chance. I mean, to take a little country boy out of Arkansas and to go to the big city, for what I knew was, you know, a big city and uh, and chance to become a man and do some things for the state of Minnesota. I mean, I'm forever grateful to, to Minnesota and the Vikings. All right, Kevin, we definitely appreciate your time and we're, we're definitely glad you were a Viking draft pick back in the day. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. I'm great. I'm grateful that they uh, they took a chance on. Me. <laughs>